Imagine a city under siege. The ground trembles, mountains crumble, and the very foundations of the world seem to crack. Fear grips the hearts of its inhabitants, a cold dread that threatens to paralyze them. Yet, amidst the chaos, a single beacon of hope remains. A whisper carried on the wind, a promise etched in stone, God is within her, she will not fall. Psalm 46 5. This powerful verse from Psalm speaks of a city unlike any other. It's not a place built of bricks and mortar, but a spiritual haven, a refuge for the soul. This city represents the hearts of the faithful, where God chooses to make his dwelling. And when he resides within, a remarkable transformation takes place. The verse doesn't shy away from acknowledging the external turmoil. The world may be in upheaval, empires may rise and fall, but the city with God at its center remains unshakable. It's a testament to the enduring power of faith, a promise that even in the darkest of times, God's presence brings stability and security. But how exactly does God's presence within us manifest? Let's delve deeper into the imagery of this verse and explore the implications for our own lives. The concept of God dwelling within his people is a recurring theme throughout the Bible. In Exodus, he instructs Moses to build the tabernacle, a portable sanctuary where he would meet with the Israelites. Later, King Solomon constructs a magnificent temple in Jerusalem, a permanent dwelling place for God on earth. However, these physical structures were merely symbolic. The ultimate desire of God is not to be confined within walls built by human hands. The prophet Isaiah declares, Heaven is my throne, and the earth is my footstool. Has anyone built a house for me? Or has anyone seen a place for my rest? Isaiah 66 1. The true dwelling place of God is the human heart. When we surrender ourselves to him, he takes up residence within, transforming us from the inside out. This transformation is not a one-time event, it's a continuous process of growth and renewal. The verse assures us, she will not fall. This doesn't imply an absence of challenges. Life throws curveballs, unexpected difficulties that test our faith and resilience. But when God is within us, he becomes the source of our strength. He doesn't shield us from every storm, but he equips us to weather them. David, the psalmist, understood this truth intimately. Throughout his life, he faced betrayal, war, and personal turmoil. Yet, in Psalm 27 1, he declares with unwavering confidence, The Lord is my light and my salvation, whom shall I fear? Even when we stumble, God's presence within helps us rise again. His love is a safety net, catching us before we fall completely. The challenges we face may leave scars, but they also refine our character and deepen our dependence on Him. The final line of the verse offers a comforting promise, God will help her at break of day. No matter how bleak the night may seem, we can trust that God will be there with the dawn. He doesn't promise a life free of problems, but He assures us of His unfailing presence and timely intervention. This doesn't necessarily mean a miraculous solution to every difficulty. Sometimes, God's help comes in the form of inner strength, a renewed sense of purpose, or the courage to face whatever lies ahead. His timing may not always align with our expectations, but He is faithful to see us through. The Bible paints God as a benevolent being, a source of love and goodness. But within its pages also lies a portrayal of a God who is wrathful, a judge who demands justice and meets out punishment. Understanding this seemingly contradictory nature is crucial in forming a holistic view of God. Passages throughout the Old Testament depict God's fierce anger against sin and injustice. Examples include the flood narrative in Genesis, the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah, and the numerous pronouncements of judgment against disobedient nations. These portrayals can be unsettling, challenging our modern sensibilities. However, it's important to understand these narratives within their historical context. Ancient societies viewed justice differently than we do. Retribution was seen as a necessary element of maintaining order and upholding moral laws. God's wrath, in this context, becomes a manifestation of His perfect holiness and His intolerance for evil. How do we reconcile the God of love with the God of wrath? Some theologians propose a concept of divine accommodation, suggesting that God communicates with humanity using language and imagery we can comprehend. The portrayal of a wrathful God may be a way for ancient writers to convey the gravity of sin and the certainty of consequences. Another perspective emphasizes God's inherent justice. Love without justice creates chaos. A God who allows evil to flourish unchecked wouldn't be truly good. His wrath, then, becomes a necessary aspect of maintaining the balance between love and justice. Ultimately, the answer may lie in the mystery of God himself. He is a being beyond our full comprehension, and his ways are not always our ways, Isaiah 55 8-9.
we can trust that his actions, even those that appear harsh, stem from his perfect character and his ultimate plan for good. Despite the complexities of God's nature, the Bible offers a clear path to draw near to him. Here are some key principles. The foundation of a relationship with God is faith. Believing in him, even when we don't have all the answers, Hebrews 11:6. Acknowledging our shortcomings and turning away from sin is a crucial step in drawing closer to God, Proverbs 28:13. A genuine relationship with God involves a commitment to living according to his will, 1 John 5:3. Prayer is a form of conversation with God, a way to express our gratitude, confess our sins, and seek His guidance, Philippians 4 6. The Bible identifies love as the greatest commandment. Loving God and loving others are fundamental aspects of drawing near to Him, 1 John 4 7-8. The journey toward God is not about attaining perfection through our own efforts. It's about surrendering to His grace, the undeserved love and forgiveness He offers through Jesus Christ. Romans 3:23 declares, For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God, and are justified by His grace as a gift, by the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. Through faith in Jesus, we are reconciled to God, no longer separated by our transgressions. His grace empowers us to live a transformed life, one that reflects His love and holiness. Drawing near to God is a lifelong pursuit, a journey of continuous learning, growth, and transformation. There will be moments of doubt and confusion, but the Bible assures us that God is always there, waiting to be found by those who seek Him with a sincere heart, Jeremiah 29 13. As we walk this path, we gain a deeper understanding of His character, even the aspects that seem contradictory. Ultimately, we may never fully comprehend the mystery of God. But by opening ourselves to His love and grace, we can experience the transformative power of His presence in our lives.